All right, so we got our summer squash coming in. There's one here and uh, some more over there. These guys are getting pretty big. All right, so as you can tell, uh, we've uh, really thinned out the plants in the barrel aquaponic system. Uh, the bean is still growing and it's getting uh, almost to the top of the uh, pole there, so that's pretty neat. Uh, but I've been having some problems with my goldfish dying because the, the water is, just gets too hot in this barrel and I don't I just don't think there's enough oxygen getting in so uh, we're gonna go ahead and rig something up to try to uh, fix that all right so what I'm gonna do is remove this venturi right here uh, at a 90 and then have the shower head uh, spray or coming off in this direction hopefully spraying the top of the water and uh, adding oxygen for the goldfish Okay, so the idea here is this pipe will be connected to the recirc line and hopefully the water will spray out hitting the top of the water and aerate the water uh, a little more than it, than it is now. All right, so I got the shower head installed and as you can see, it's kind of spitting uh, water down into there and uh, the, the water coming out is interacting with the water inside the tank and the bubbles when they uh, pop uh, add oxygen to the water. So, uh, with that going 24-7, uh, hopefully that uh, really, really helps add oxygen to the water. So, uh, and by adding that cap down there at the end, it really, really makes it a lot easier to regulate the flow uh, of the, the water into the system. So uh, we'll uh, let it run and see what happens. All right, so the greenhouse is just still just growing out of control. Um, you can see the plants. I can't even get them all in the frame, but... Uh, you can see the bean is still crawling, and that's a cucumber plant. It's catching up with it real fast, but it's just growing right up the trellis, and I'm training it to grow up this line, so hopefully we can uh, just pull cucumbers right off the, uh, the ceiling of the greenhouse. But uh, you can see that the tomatoes are still everywhere. Here's a bunch right here. We got some, some pickled cucumbers growing. That one's really fat. I don't know why, but um, we've actually pulled about four or five cucumbers out of here so far. And uh, there's another one back there. But yeah, everything is growing really, really well. So some more tomatoes back there. The, um, the cucumber is growing from uh, over here up and up into this side and up. So I'm gonna have to put another string that goes up the top there, so we can get some more uh, crawling action going. Uh, this one got some uh, cherry tomatoes starting here. Uh, the peppers uh, look a little wilty because it's it's just so hot in this in this greenhouse. Um, there's some more tomatoes down there, so yeah, it's it's definitely working. It's, it's a green bean, or I forget this is, if this is a green bean or a wax bean, but you know it's that's a decent sized bean. Oh, and we had to take a tower out because um, you guys are right. These things clogged, and uh, so we're taking them out one by one and drilling some holes to try to help, you know, to ease that clogging. And uh, there's there are some tomatoes coming in in here, but this is such a mess. I, I I don't even know where to begin to show you, but so that's that. Well, we've just been munching away on lettuce, as you can see, uh, we've uh, done a number, but um, it's so hot. It's so hot in this greenhouse that the the, the lettuce really wants to uh, you know grow up and you know bolt almost. So I'm gonna have to find some lettuce that is a little more tolerant to the heat. Um, plus, we're gonna go ahead and add a shade cloth here really soon. But um, let's see if you can see. Uh, th this was actually the raft with the uh, the seedlings in it, and there was multiple seedlings coming up. So uh, what I did was just took some of the seedlings and transplant them into this uh, into the other uh, bed or into the other baskets so uh, they seem to be doing all right maybe that one not so much but that one especially so I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with this all right so I don't know if you can see the fish uh, too well but they're definitely getting a lot bigger uh, the water is staying relatively clear in this put in this uh, in this tank so that's that's good it's definitely a lot cleaner than the tank uh, on the indoor system but 
I just want to give you guys a look at these and pretty soon we're going to be throwing a couple of these on the barbecue. All right, so we got some basil and we got some strawberries and we're going to go ahead and uh, put these in the greenhouse. All right, so we finally got uh, all the strawberries planted in these strawberry towers. Now, these strawberry towers, uh, th I mean, we haven't really used them for strawberries yet, so we're going to go ahead and see what they do. And if I'm not really blown away by these things, we're going to go ahead and put in an NFT system, a nutrient film technique uh, through the back here. I think it'll be a lot, a lot easier to maintain and we can plant more stuff in it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the basil. Okay, so I got the sweet basil all cleaned up and uh, the roots are all cleaned off and there's uh, not a lot of dirt on there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and plant it in my deep water culture bed because apparently uh, basil does really well in this, in this type of environment. So I'm going to go ahead and get these planted and I'll be right back with you. All right, so we stuck in two basil plants. Uh, this one was getting a little big and it's, it's not really solid in there because the hydrogen is very light. So uh, now this one's fine, but we planted the third one in the bed right here. So we'll see how that works and uh, I'll update you guys on, this, uh, on these plants. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You can visit us at hdaquaponics.com. From there, you can find links to our Facebook fan page, HD Aquaponics. And you can also follow me at Twitter at HD Aquaponics. So uh, until next week.